Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a great Friday or will have a great Friday. By the time I post this, it's probably gonna be like seven, eight o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, so. I hope you are having a great Friday and I hope you have a stupendous weekend full of fun, crochet, and whatever else you wanna do. <laughs> Did you guys notice I got my hair cut? <laughs> Um, it's not exactly what I wanted. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's a little shorter than I would have liked, but hair grows. It'll all be all right. And I told the, my, the guy that does my hair, his name's Johnny. And I told him, I was like, I want to try something different. And this is what I want it to do. And he's like, well, I mean, we can try this, see if it works. If you don't like it, you know, and I always tell him if I don't like it, I'll wear it up. It's not a big deal. So I, I, it's, I'm getting used to it. And, um, my husband actually got his hair cut too. Now my husband has always had a full beard. Um, I'm, I'm talking like sideburns down his neck, full beard and long hair that he wear, wore in a ponytail. I have never seen my husband not have his hair in a ponytail and we've been together for 15 years. He got it all cut off. <laughs> All of it is gone. Um, I want to show you a picture, but I don't know if he will allow me to, because I've never shown him on camera, and he's he's not keen on it yet. I've I've been trying to work on it, but I'll I'll insert a picture if he'll let me. So if if a picture is here, then he let me. If there's not, he won't let me. But anyway, so. It's, I had, I told him, I was like, honey, I've always loved your hair. Cause I would always like, he'd have it in a ponytail at the bottom of his neck. And I always put my finger in the ponytail and just twirl his ponytail and my finger around my finger. Um, I, I like it. It's a change. Yes, it is a change, but I like the change. It's not that I don't want his ponytail back cause I loved his ponytail, but I love being able to rub the back of his head and his neck. And I told him, I was like, I'm going to kiss you and then like hold the back of your head. <laughs> he just laughed at me <laughs> anyway so he's handsome um so we both just like you know what let's chop it off <laughs> um so we got new looks uh i do want to tell you guys so we took a short little staycation my husband knew that i needed some some time <laughs> and uh, we went to a little staycation we went to uh we we live like an hour and a half east of the mississippi so we went to uh, Grafton, Illinois, and we stayed, or yeah, Grafton, Illinois, and we stayed there for uh, a, just a couple nights, and we kind of did a little bit of running around, and then we came home. Well, I had a good friend of ours, I had her daughter uh, watch our cats, and um, <laughs> it was so cute. Uh, she would, every day, she'd send me text messages and tell me how the cats are, and send me pictures of them, and... Um, so when we got home, there was this blanket, a quilt, laying on my dining room table. And I'm like, did I leave that there? No. What the heck is this? And I pick it up, and it is the cutest quilt that my friend uh, found at a rummage sale. And she said, Alana, I instantly thought of you, and I bought it. And it is a quilt of Cupid dolls, which I love little Cupid dolls, crocheting them dresses and stuff. But look! And then look at this. Look at the back. Isn't that adorable? So, I, of course, I laid it out on my bed at the, you know, like across the feet of my bed. And I was laying in bed and I was just kind of looking at it and I was like, man, is this, is this hand sewn or is this machine? And I think some of it is hand and some of it is machine. And then I noticed, of course, I can't find it now. Oh, here it is. Look at this. Somebody made it for Project Linus. I couldn't believe, couldn't believe that when I saw it. I was like, that's not, what? But yeah, 
Somebody made that for Project Linus. So that was a heck of a fine and, 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 and I love this thing. Absolutely love it. Then, so, um, not long after we got back, the, the, uh, the girl that was watching our cats gifted our little, my family, a picture that she had made. And of course I left it downstairs. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to run downstairs and grab this picture. Cause you have got to see this. Okay. Here is the picture she made my family. I about had tears. I thought this was so adorable. Look at that. So Rungy, that's my married last name. And then these are our cats. That's Pooksie, Fuzzy Butt, Little Bubby, and Churchy. <laughs> and then look at the yarn balls she put on the back. Isn't that the cutest thing in the little paw prints she put on the picture frame? I, 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 like, I could get tears in my eyes right now. I absolutely love this. This is the cutest thing. And not only is it adorable, but you thought of my babies and our, my family. And Jenny, you are the greatest ever kid. I love you. <laughs> and so in our house, it's kind of a, a running, I don't know if you want to say joke, but no, it's not a joke, but okay. So it's Pooksie Spooks is her name. We call her Pooksie. She is a, uh, black long haired tortoise shell. You can barely see the tortoise shell. She looks just black, long haired. Um, but she has fangs and they stick out past her, you know, her bottom jaw. So she looks like a little vampire or a bat with these little fangs sticking out. And, uh, we, we took her to the vet, um, to get fixed. And when we picked her up to bring her home, one of her fangs was snapped in half. Like she was, what we think was happening was that in the cage at the vet, she was freaking out a little bit and was biting on the cage and probably snapped that tooth. And look, she's got one tooth longer than the other one. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. And Churchy's a little chunky. And Fuzzy Butt's the biggest. And little Bubby is uh, all gray like that on his chest. I just, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I loved this. Absolutely adorable. And then uh, while I went and got that, I got a few of the cupies that I wanted to show you guys that I have um, crocheted. So I got this one. So these are what match the quilt that Jenny's uh, mom, Ann, got me. And this one. A little hat fell off. See the little... Isn't that cute? And this one, I gotta adjust a bit. She, she's, uh... She originally sits on my shelf and she sits at the very top and she's fallen off like hundreds of times. <laughs> so her little umbrella, umbrella is a little wonky. So I got to adjust it. Actually, I think it's about to fall out of her hand. There it went. Got it. There's her. So I love little cutie dolls. These things are adorable to me. And some of them, this one doesn't. I've got even bigger ones. Some of them, when you squeeze them, they squeak. <laughs> Hold on just a second. I know you can, all you can see is my hip. Hold on. Okay. I'm trying to pull it out and knock, not knock everything down. And here's an even bigger one. <laughs> I think these things are so stinking cute. So they're, I think they're all different sizes. Yeah. And the littler one. And I've got even smaller ones. But yes, I love these little cupies. They're my favorite. I hope if you guys have dogs that like squeaky toys, I hope they just freaked out when they heard that squeak. <laughs> but, okay, so we did that. And then um, 
I am so happy to say that I got my Crojo back and I whipped out the, um, I finished the green and it's sitting right there is how I grabbed it. The green and variegated um, baby blanket and pillow set that I wanted to do. I finished that and then I started another one where it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's, what is that yarn? It's, uh, feels like butter. That's it. Feels like butter yarn. And it's like a, a pale lemon color. So it's, uh, uh, any sex, whatever. And I'm going to make a little, I think it's just going to be a little cardigan to go with it. So it'll be the, the, uh, the pillow, the blanket, a cardigan, and maybe some booties and a bonnet or something with it. I have just been like a crocheting fool lately. I Like I said, I got my crojo back and I've just been... Just <laughs> um, and I still want to, your guys' help with naming the, I'll just grab it, this set. And some of, somebody mentioned in my last video... I Because I said that I wanted to name it something Pickle... And somebody, somebody said pick, pickled Piccadilly or something. And I thought that was adorable. I was like, I love that. So I think I'm going to go something like that. Like Piccadilly. Is that what it, is that what your comment said? Piccadilly? I think, I don't remember, but here is the blanket. And I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest Chevron or not Chevron, uh, ripple pattern that I have ever done and I love it and you can I love it one because it's easy and two I love it because as you're working you can check okay this stitch goes here is it there yep keep going okay this stitch goes here is it there yep and then keep going and you, you know if you mess up you're just like oh hey wait a minute and go back through the ripple find it pull out a couple stitches and then continue on and that is what I love about this pattern and then here is the little pillow pillow cover, pillow case, um, it'll be about, well, didn't mean to drop that, but anyway, so that set is ready to go. I've got that ready to film. And I thought about going through my, um, amigurumi books and finding a bear to crochet and crochet a bear that matches this, but I don't, I don't know if I'm that ambitious yet. <laughs> so I've got this set ready to film. I've got this set ready to film, which I think I showed you guys this already, but I love this. So this will, will be a baby blanket and pillow. Here's the matching pillow that I haven't done. That's ready to film. And I started filming my antique flower block square. Start the this little square. I started filming that. Oh man, I am happy. I am I'm back. I am back and I'm happy. <laughs> I've been working hard. Now I need to get my patterns right written and typed and uh I feel like I got a thousand things to do. So that's that's some good news that I am super happy about. And I have made a little bit of progress. I, it's been a little bit since I've talked about this. But for those of you that don't know, um, my mother-in-law, she is a saint. She lost her son recently, uh, my husband's brother. And before that, a couple years before that, she lost her husband. And um, that woman, anything that I crochet, she is just over the moon to show everybody what I did. So I have made her in the past um, an angel. Uh, I am going to make a note to insert pictures of, of I'm going to insert pictures of, um, excuse me, I got indigestion all of a sudden, the sunflower angel that I made her, and then I made her another angel uh, that's an amigurumi angel, and then what I've decided now is that I'm, going, I'm making her a filet crochet wall hanging, and it is the Lord's Prayer. So 
I am gonna I'm gonna pause my video and write this down. You guys don't want to watch me write. Okay, so I will insert those pictures here. So I made those for her. And um, then I decided, you know, I really want to make her something amazing. So I decided to uh, start this filet crochet for her. Well, I had showed it, it, I don't know, it's been a little bit since I showed it. And then I had not worked on it. I hadn't worked on it through everything that was happening. And then recently I started working on it again. And I was like, whew, this is going to take me forever. So I have got to work on this. Like, Pedal to the metal, I've got to work on this. So I'm going to grab it because I want to show you guys how much I've gotten done. Which, it's not a ton. I mean, I did, I have worked on it. I just haven't done as much as I wish I could got could have gotten done. But I'm still proud of what I do have done. And I keep it in the little zipper case that my friend Cheryl gave me. Ooh, ooh that wasn't supposed to go through that. Okay. All right. Let me kind of get it straightened up. So I have got, can you see amen right there? There's a train going by. I'm going to let that go by and as it does I'm going to straighten this up because it's a bit wrinkled from being in my little zipper pouch. Okay. Can you see that? The filet flowers and then amen. Is it right for you or no? Does it go this way? Okay, so it's right for me, so it's probably back right for you now. Anyway, so I have gotten amen done and then the flowers across the bottom. Now, I will say I am new at filet, so I'm a little concerned with um, my tension and with all of those chain ones, I'm hoping that it is still gonna come out nice and pretty and hair is driving me nuts, looking frizzy. Um, I hope it comes out okay. Cause I think after I block it, I, it'll be okay. For if you guys, for those of you that know more about filet than I do, is that normal? Like, I, I'm trying to explain what I'm trying to say. I, I guess I'm worried that my tension is not going to be exactly the same for all of those chained ones. So some, some, you know, rows might be a little bit tighter, a little bit looser. And then I, so I know I can block it. I can steam block it or I can throw it in the washer and then lay it out or maybe not throw it in the washer or just steam block it, lay it out, pin it to where it's nice and square and straight. So is that normal? I mean, is that with like with any filet or, um, yeah. So for those of you that know any more about filet than I do, can you guys let me know if that's, you know, an abnormal thing and it'll come out in the end and all of that. I I just I guess I'm a little worried is all I can say. <laughs> but my plan is once I get it done, block it and then I'm going to um uh frame it for her and hang it in her house somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I do want to say this just uh like came to my mind. Um the the afghans that I just showed you guys, the baby blankets that I just showed you guys, I actually ran those straight through the washer and dryer, no problem at all. And they are so soft. I, I, cause I thought for sure after I ran that through the washer and dryer, it was going to mess them up, but it didn't. They're perfect. And I love it. I'm so happy that those are done and ready to go. Um, and I still have so much of that green and variegated yarn. I don't know what to do with, <laughs> uh, Let's see. What else do I have to talk about? Um, that's kind of it. 
Haven't been really doing much. I've been cleaning, cooking. I still plan on getting, uh, cooking with Alana and uh, gaming with Alana going again, getting all that ready. One step at a time, basically. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it for now. Uh, not a whole lot to talk about. Unless I forgot something. I, I am just super happy that I am back. Uh, the ball is rolling with filming again. And so my first tutorial back will, will be next Wednesday. So I'm going to be back to a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Which I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. You are all the greatest. I'd hug each, each and every one of you if I could. Um, I love you all. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.